Hello everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, Anti-Birth, Eden Streaks, Me Penta. The file 2? I don't remember. File 2. Here we go. Let's begin. Run 50. So it's been a while. F7? I remember. Tauros, Book of, Di uh, Book of Dicks, uh, <laughs> Book of Shadows. It's been a while. Uh, we also got the Monkey's Paw, which is decent. Uh, awful stats, just straight off the bat. It's been a while. How you guys doing? Hopefully you've been well. I've been enjoying myself. I, I mean, I still got a lot of shit. My God, still got a lot of shit going on in my own life. A lot of stuff at work. A lot of stuff at the stream. All that kind of stuff. That, let's face it, a good 80% of you don't give a goddamn about. So I'm not gonna bore you with that nonsense because eh, well, I, it's it's been proven that you guys don't care. So I'm just gonna move on from that. We're gonna talk about Isaac because that's what people want me to talk about. So let's talk about. The run, the streak, what are we doing? Run is not good. We need a lot of stuff in our pocket in order for this run to be considered even remotely okay, and that is not how you do it. Hopefully Tauros will activate. There it is. I was going to say, I was hoping to bait Tauros against the boys sooner. It did not work. I will throw a bomb at Haunt just to speed up the fight a little bit. This is not a good run. Uh, we haven't found an item room yet, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting a Tears Up, which is going to be a huge positive here. Uh, still leaves us in kind of shit creek as far as our stats go. However, you give me a 9 lives here, Ultra Pride, and I'm not going to be too upset about it. You can give me a 9 lives, and uh, we'll call it even, my friend. I'll kill you, you give me nine lives. That's not exactly what I was expecting when I asked you for nine lives, my dude. Same with that, but this is also really good. Monkey's cap, monkey's cap. Uh, monkey's paw isn't going to do much for us uh, as of right now. That tinted rock, however, will, assuming we can survive another room or two to get a bomb. Tempted to use the High Priestess. It's not the right move, though, Penta. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. It's not the smart move here. Just be patient. Patience is all we need in this run right now, and that is exactly what it pays off with. Let's get this. Grab ourselves a small rock, which is not what I wanted because it's a speed down. Rotten Heart, also not very good this run is not okay this run is not okay guys it's not okay uh and because of that i am just going to press matters into my own hands and i'm going to move on to the next floor i ain't going to the downpour you guys can go to hell if you think i'm going to the downpour how you guys been hopefully you've been well uh if this series or the return of the series doesn't get like an alarming amount of view, if it doesn't get an alarming amount of views, just know that I'm not too care. I, I don't care too much about how many people watch it. I know that you know, in, anytime you take a long absence from a channel of any type, you're gonna have people who disappear or you know don't watch anymore or just don't even know you still do content. You know what it is. Uh, and this is my way of just saying, I don't really care. I'm not doing this because I want views on the channel. I'm not doing this because I think uh, Isaac, you know, is going to bring my, you know, bring certain people back to the channel. I, I'm, I'm doing this because I want closure. I'm doing this because even if one person watches it, I want closure. I want the streak gone, man. I want the streak to either be finished or continue going. And I don't really see... An issue if I were to do an Isaac run every you know couple days or something like that just to get the streak going even if this is the end of it if, if this run ends it oh, it'd be shitty but if this run uh, were to end it then that would be it and we would move on and we'd be we'd be we'd be fine you know but uh, considering how awesome our runs you know from memory obviously have been recently on the streak uh, just before I stopped the series uh, for my hiatus shit, I remember doing very well. I remember our streak was actually in basically no danger of being lost. And so this run is a little scary, but we can 
We can make something work out of it. Be a big fan is not gonna help us with that, unfortunately, but uh, you give us a tinted rock and a decent boss item and I can I can satisfy myself without the uh, the big fan here. It's not like big fan's a terrible item, it's just definitely not what we need. I will take the pill. It's a health upgrade, it's just exactly what we wanted. I'm playing a surprising amount of uh, the, oh my god, the Enter the Gungeon update. The Advanced Gungeons and Dragons finally dropped, and I'm super stoked to be playing a lot of that. I'm playing it on the Twitch channel, and you guys don't give a shit about my Twitch channel, but that's where I've been playing it. Uh, and people seem to be very enjoying uh, enjoying it quite a bit. I, it's it's a good update. I still kind of just, I'm, I'm always like the devil's advocate. I always have to argue towards like, the opposite argument just for for somebody to have that opinion and I think my current opinion on End of the Gungeons uh, update, Advanced, uh, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons, is just this. While it's awesome and the content they added is very good and incredible, at the end of the day, it is still just Gungeon. You know, it's still Gungeon, right? You're still going to be doing your same old Gungeon run, that is amazing. You're still going to be doing your same old Gungeon run, that is also amazing. And because I'm streaking, I am taking it. I do not care what the people out there want to say to me. You took Brimstone. Bam. I want to win, guys. I want to win. This is a streak, alright? We've been over this. We've talked about this before. This is a streak. I need to win in order for this streak to continue and to win if you get a brimstone or a sacred heart or a mom's knife and the run benefits it, you take that shit, all right? Now, Guns of the Dragons does add some uh, interesting aspects that I think are a little weird. Some stuff that may make the game a little easier. They streamlined it a little bit for newer players, I'm sure, and that's understandable, but as a dime, and I will bomb for a dime. I don't know. What do you guys think uh, of the Gungeons and Dragons update? Why am I talking about the Gungeons and Dragons update in a Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth video? Uh, because the Anti-Birth update isn't coming out until like 3012. And so we have to have something to talk about, right? This update's never coming out. Let's just face it. Gun uh, Isaac is Anti-Birth is not updating. It's never coming out. We're all just going to have to live with the fact that we are stuck with half-finished anti-birth for the remainder of our lives. And you know what? Part of me says that's okay because anti-birth, while great, is... The more I play it, the more I play it on the channel, the more I play it in my own time, which is basically not at all anymore. Uh, I don't really play a lot of Isaac. I don't really play a lot of Isaac, guys. Uh, it just... Anti-Birth is really good, but I think part of its problem is the fact that it is half-finished, you know? If Anti-Birth had been completed prior to Afterbirth Plus's launch, I don't think we'd be sitting here talking about a game that is... kind of a shell of what it could be, because, you know, there's a lot of content in Anti-Birth, obviously, but... When you know how much they want to do with the game... It really makes you start to think, well, damn, then why don't you just do it, you know, just do it. Finish it. Get that shit released. Let us play it. I don't know, it's not the easiest shit in the world. I know, I'm not a game dev. I don't need to tell them to do their jobs, but at the same time, it's like, I get your dream was to work on Afterbirth Plus. Your game was to work on something that was official for the game, and they did that with the Booster Pack 5. But, like... You kind of left the Anti-Birth team, or the Anti-Birth fans and community, hanging with this half-finished product that, uh, was supposed to be, you know, finished and honestly released in, like, March. We're in August now, baby. We're in August. Best month. But we're also in August now. It's supposed to be coming out in March. That's not good. So it doesn't speak very well for the fact that the update may or may not be coming out. I have no idea. I can't speak on whether or not it's going to come out because I don't exactly 
have contact with Kilburn on the team, but I do know that there's been zero news about it in four months. Zero news about the update. Uh, I will take Rotten Baby, because I'm going to get my HP back in the next floor. Anyway, Rotten Baby's amazing. I want to go find my item room. And I, I, I've been asked a couple times, uh, off and on, both in streams and on, on other you know messages and Twitter and all that kind of crap. I've been asked by a couple people from the community, like, if, at this point, if the Anti-Birth update finally does come out, am I going to play it? And my honest answer is, most likely not. You know, I did over a hundred, we're, we're at over a hundred episodes of Anti-Birth content on the, just the YouTube channel, half of that being an Eden streak to buy time until the update came out. Like, the Eden streak, the entire reason this streak is here is because I was buying time for the update to come out, you know? It's like, it never came out, never came out, never came out, and so now I'm like at this point where I'm kind of burnt out on Anti-Birth, I'm gen generally burnt out on Isaac in, in my regular life anyway, but also just like, if it comes out, like, it would have to be a brand new base, basically a brand new damn game for me to want to come back to Anti-Birth. And I honestly can't say with the amount of content that's already in Anti-Birth, I can't honestly say that that's what they're going to bring to the table. So, who knows? We'll find out in, you know, four years when the, when the update finally drops. And uh, we'll see what, uh, what the community has to say about the update. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other people playing it on Twitch and on YouTube and all that stuff, and you guys will be able to watch it, but frankly for me, I just don't see myself being terribly interested in playing the Isaac Anti-Birth update after... a year and a half waiting for me, because it came out December of 2016. We're in August of 2017, which means it's almost been two years since Anti-Birth launched. Are you kidding me? That's so crazy to think that it's almost been two years since Anti-Birth launched. Which means it's almost been two years since Afterbirth Plus launched. Christ. Damn. Gets your head going a little bit. Gets your head going a little bit. That's really weird. That's weird to think about for me. Because it, it brings me on this roadmap of, like, my downward spiral of caring and yet not caring about Isaac over the course of, like, the last two years. Because Afterbirth was a high note. Antibirth was a high note. Afterbirth Plus was kind of a low note for me. Um, but even still, even with it kind of being a low note for me, I still loved the game. I still loved Isaac and... It's not like I was burnt out with Isaac in, 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 as a game in general. I was burnt out with a lot of things. Isaac in general. Isaac the game had some... Atterberg Plus had something to do with that, but... What am I doing? Bookworm isn't a thing in this game. And, uh... It brings me back to that whole... Phase of my life where I was, like... Riding the high note on, on Isaac for so many months, months, and months, and months. And then you just get burnt out. Just get burnt out, but y'all carried me through it. Y'all carried me through it, and that's what I love. So I'm not exactly thinking I'm gonna be a star-studded commentator. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Not like this, my friend. We're gonna be a star-studded commentator on this shit. If you want like excellent S-tier commentary, Penta Hybrid ain't want you to come in here for, man. I do my thing. I do my thing. I talk well. I got a good vocabulary. I make up some weird noises. Y'all know it. But if you want, like, homemade, integer-defying stories and chronicles to take place from this man's voice, ain't gonna happen. Especially considering I've been out of YouTube mode for months, and so, like, my brain ain't in YouTube mode. My brain is like, I'm used to looking over and seeing my chat, and I'm look looking over and I'm seeing no chat, and so I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? These guys probably think I'm on drugs. Some dude just sitting in his underwear talking to himself. Another tears up though. The devil deal again? Hmm. 
Could go for the, the guppy play with guppy brim, but I ain't risking it that much, man. I ain't risking it that much. I ain't popping down to one heart on the depths, too. I have played minimal Isaac over the past two and a half months. I'm not risking, risking that much. I am not losing the streak due to hubris, you know? I know I can play the game well, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play it, I'm going to know exactly what I'm supposed to do at, at the points that I'm supposed to do it. And from that moment on, we will, we will achieve victory. Is there a chance of us losing with Brimstone? Absolutely. I'm not good at this game. One, I'm not good at this game. Two, I haven't played it in... Like you heard, I haven't played it in like regularly in months. So if I lose the streak here and now, I apologize. But hey, at least we made it to 49, right? My goal was to buy time until the anti work update came out and also be better than Jonas Fatson. And considering his streak was 40, I'm at 49, and Alexa came not even close to beating my streak. I'd like to say that I'm just like the king now, and I could die happily if my streak ends here. However, I don't think my streak is going to end here. My streak is going to, at, at, at such little risk, I'm just going to fight mom right now. My neck itches. This is not good. Get wrecked, Mom. I'm gonna go to the chest. I'll move on down. Oh, I had an Emperor card. I could have cheesed out some uh, boss rush there. That was an unfortunate mishap. That's what you get when you don't play for so long. You make mis missteps like that. This is a big misstep. I also just genuinely hope that my software is still recording this shit well. I have not used OBS Studio in a long time already. For recording or otherwise. So if this looks bad or sounds bad or all that shit, I'm blaming Stream... Or, uh, not Streamlabs. I'm blaming OBS. I ain't touched a single setting. Which means it would have been updates and crap that mess with everything. Let's just go right on into taking this luck downhill. Hell no. So, one utero one, so I'm not going to use the Emperor yet. I'd like to use the Emperor on the Cathedral if possible. I did take a poll, there you go. I did take a poll a while back when I first start, uh, was like at 20 or 30 wins in the streak. And I asked what people thought I could get the streak to and a lot of people said like, you know, 40, 50. Had a couple people that said more than 100 and I'm, I'm genuinely hoping that it's not 100. I'm not saying that I want the streak to end. I'm not asking for it to end my suffering because I'm not suffering playing the game or anything guys, but it's a lot of runs, man. It's a lot of runs. And when you're kind of burnt out on a game, whether or not you want closure, which is what I'm kind of doing this for, playing it can get a little samey, a little frustrating. But you know what? We're going to push through. We're going to push through. And if it's not entertaining content for you, I mean, there's other places on here you can watch shit. Like I said, I'm not doing this for, like, the views or the entertainment or the... I'm not doing it for all that kind of stuff. I'm doing it for the people who wanted this streak to come to its proper resolution. Myself included. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this streak to its proper resolution. Whether it's win 50, 61, or 112. I do hope it's not this one, though. That would be real shitty to bring back the, 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 the streak series for one video. Make a big deal out of it for one video. Probably why I should have done a couple of runs and then announced that I was bringing it back, just in case. 
I lost it on the first one. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna lose it on this one though, let's be honest. Credit card is pretty good. Pretty dumb damage there, Penta. I mean, okay, still not good, but it could have been good. Oh, you gotta beat the whole womb too yet still. I done forgot about the womb too. Taking that damage upgrade. Drink some water. My head has been weird all day, man. I've had this weird right eye headache. You ever have one of those where it just hurts behind the one eye? It's uncomfortable, and I hate it. Curse of the Giant on the womb is not my favorite thing in the world. Keep on moving though. One positive of these types of floors is uh, they don't last very long because all the floors are big. That was horrible. That did not touch me. I will argue this till the end of time. Speed up, shot, speed down. Step on the creep, Penta. Health up. I, was, I figured one of these was a health up. Here we go. Don't be afraid to use the Book of Shadows if you want to. Don't need to because we got Tauros. Oh, and then I'm immediately slow because I have Tauros, of course. Completely did not remember that that thing existed. <sighs> Damocles, though. I can't. Not said I can't, man. Y'all know I want to take the Damocles, but I can't take the Damocles, though. I got the double book. I hate how slow I am right now. I really hate how slow I am. This could be the end of the streak. I am so slow. That's the win. Alright, that's the win. That's the win. But we need some serious shit on this chest, man. Don't lose it on win 50. Penta. That's a speed downgrade. That's an HP upgrade, though. Uh, can't take the speed down. Can't afford to take the speed down, man. Horrible, horrible damage. Horrible damage. I gotta start a boy with Tauros, man. Tauros. 
I think we got this. Assuming we don't get any bullshit rooms. And that shit doesn't happen. Also, here's the, here's the thing I asked the, 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 the comments, the chat, as I call you guys. Who's super stoked for... Fuck me. Who's super stoked for four souls? And who bought it? You know, who bought the four souls? The haunt. HP. Nope. I can do a chub fight. HP. Nope. I ain't even messing around with these boys. HP. I will play this to win. Come on. One heart and we're fine. Free pills. Or free, uh, <laughs> free pills. Free plays. There we go. Glitter bombs, or uh, Enigma bombs, rather. Kill Gluttony Last. Hope for less than three. He did not give less than three, but he gave us HP. Increases our chance to win by like a thousand percent. Champion. Champion Chub. I am way too slow for Champion Chub. Got HP there in case we need it. And there's our boss fight. As long as we can make it in there with these two, okay. I'm gonna make it in with these two charges. That Joker card. Sin ropes. Taking it. It's an HP upgrade essentially, and a damage increase. We're fine. Blue baby is our bitch. We win. That is win 50. Thank you guys so much for watching this return to the streak of Penta Hybrid, Eden, Nis, and the Anti Birth. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure you go subscribe to Mr. Jonas Fatson on youtube.com slash Jonas Fatson. Get him to that 1,000 subscriber mark. I do seriously mean this. I want him to get to 1,000 subscribers so he can start getting paid for shit. If you guys do not subscribe to Jonas Fatson, you are not friends of mine. I love you so much. Thank you for supporting the series, and I will see you next time. Catch you later.